Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys another variant of Righteous Fire that is significantly more expensive with a lot more downsides, but technically is a lot more fun. So before uh, I jump into anything, we're just going to jump right into a T16 cemetery map. Uh, it's basically just bosses are possessed beyond. Um, I've got some Breach Scarabs, Cardo Expedition Legion. Nothing fancy here, just a quick demonstration. Got Sextants on and throwing on Fortune Favors the Brave. Now this variant, uh, we're level 96. The entry level into doing something like this is going to be around 20 exalts. Now this market price may significantly go up once people start playing it. But let's say entry level is about 20 exalt and I will explain some of the reasons why it's so high a little bit later. Now this character has about one third the single target of my level 100. Yet has two times the gear investment. It's worth probably around 40 exalt right now. <clears throat> Just gonna go fight the boss real fast. This character is also this. pretty incomplete. Uh, again, it's not meant to be a bosser. I have designed this character solely for the purpose of, of doing tier 16 mapping content. Oh, Gilded Expedition. That's nice. Okay. So the general gist of this character is basically walk into the direction of a monster and your PC will start to freeze. It's also pretty tanky for like an auto bomber style. We're rocking 90 all res. Along with 90 all res, we've got block cap with a very balanced shield on the small price of seven exalts here. Uh, it's not too bad for Legion. You can cascade most of a legion not all of the legion but most of the legion i po apologize if the bit rate slash the uh whatchamacallit on the youtube looks a little fucked it uh this character kind of destroys your pc Oh, I just realized, I think I forgot to put influence on because there's no altars. Unlucky. I guess I can just do the looting after. Oh no, there is influence. Just really unlucky on altars. I gotta turn off Alc Orbs, we don't need those anymore. Hello again, Lobo. And then my favorite thing that I've been doing, I've been uh, learning a little bit how to Expedition. Uh, I didn't really do much in Expedition League. So we're just going to do a little bit of Expedition here. Let's see, what do we have? Any Runic Monster, like... Any good Runic Monster drops? No. It's 25% pack size. Pack size, quantity, rarity. I cannot do this yet. Sure, let's go pack size, quantity, and rarity. So we're just going to hit all of this right here. I'm going to try to do this quickly and not efficiently at all. We're going to just grab this. We're then going to grab uh, everything here. Let's see. Oh, this is juicy right here. Runic monsters are duplicated. Oh, I probably should have taken that at the start. Let's do that. Let's go all the way back. Okay, so yes. runic monsters are duplicated. Take this. Take this one down here, move across, and take this Get runic. <laughs> There's two runics right here. Let's go take these two runics. And then, not really much else. 
Can I stretch this over here? Damn, I can't. Oh, well, we'll just, like, whiff this last one. It's fine. First detonate. Just gonna grab this really fast. Run away. So the only thing Chieftain really has going for it in this build it's kind of a meme but I've been using Chieftain for the sole purpose of Expedition. You could do this with an Elementalist and probably have much more success. So I'm basically going to wait for my, my Namahu's Flame buff which should be popping up right about now. And then I charge this. Oh did I pick Immune to Fire actually? Oh, you know, reading is really hard, guys. All right, so we're just going to conclude the guide there. What if I told you it's morning time? I have not fully had my coffee yet. <sighs> so naturally, uh, if you guys are unaware, builds that only deal fire damage cannot really kill mobs that are immune to fire. That's okay, though. That's okay, right? Anyway, let us now talk about some of the required items to get the explode setup actually going. So, uh, since people are going to ask for MTX, I am running the full Stygian set uh, with the Stygian Herald of Ice. Sorry, Stygian, Stygian Herald. There's not even Herald of Ash. Uh, yeah, so some requirements to get this started would be, I think I actually had a word pad over here. Uh, oh, I do. It's called... Let's see here. Okay. So, um, you've got your Assonance Gentle Touch Gloves, which are like 2.4 to... Uh, let's see, actually... Oh, they're about 2 Exalt now. They're dropping in price. So, Assonance Gloves are 2 Exalt. It's a pretty cheap pickup. Fan the Flames Cluster for about 20 Chaos. Fan the Flames Cluster is this right here. This makes it so the Ignite that you inflict spreads. Well, one might ask, but Pox, where are you actually igniting from? RF is a burn. You told us it's not ignite. And this is correct. When you kill a target under the effects of a curse, though, Assonance Gentle Touch, um, if you read it, it says, Non-curse auras you inflict are not removed from dying enemies. Enemies near corpses affected by your curses are blinded. Enemies killed near corpses affected by curses explode. So TLDR, if a mob has a curse on it and you kill it, it explodes, right? Actually, I don't even know if that's true. Is it only when they're near a corpse? That might even make more sense. But anyway, basically, if a mob is near a, uh, a curse, which should be all the time, and you kill it, it explodes. At 3% life is physical, you use Chieftain slash the Fire Mastery. So you can take 40% physical damage converted to fire here. With Avatar of Fire, that gives you 90. If you are playing Chieftain then uh, you get 50% conversion, so that's a lot easier to get. And then you can read the Namahu's Flame Advance every 10 seconds, gain 100% Fizz as extra fire, and then you charge in and go kaboom. I really think this build would probably be better on Inquisitor because it would be more tanky. I just already have a 100 Inquisitor. I do think Elementalist could do this variant and get more AoE, which I think would make it stronger. I do think Elementalist would be on the squishier side, though, and I personally don't like dying. Uh, I also just hate Elementalist, so maybe, you know, one day I'll make an Elementalist. Uh, some more required items. So, this is not required, but All's Purity of Fire costs 20 Chaos right now. So, this gives me free Purity of Fire. Now, the reason why I'm going with free Purity of Fire is only because I am doing the... Melding of the Flesh, uh, which makes it so all my alley res matches my highest, and I'm doing it with Fire. Now, a lot of people have been doing this with Aegis Aurora, uh, with Purity of Ice, and that's pretty solid as well. Probably better than what I'm doing, but Chieftain doesn't really have a ES buffer. Uh, I could do like a Life as ES on my chest piece, but I also just wanted to be a little different, so I decided to go with this option. So, uh, I'm not going to go over how I've achieved the 90 Fire Res. I'll just really quickly glance over my gear. You can see 2 max Fire Res here, 1 max Fire Res here. This increased armor could also be increased purity of fire effect, which give me, which would give me plus one. Uh, I have a 23 purity of fire linked with arrogance. Arrogance is giving me another plus one, and the empower gives me another plus one. And then from the tree, you have stuff and etc. etc. All right, going over some other required items. Um, 
So, you don't really need this. This is just like my basic gear here, right? Like my helmet is obviously not needed, but Chieftain does lack sustain. So you do want to get some life regen wherever you can get it. Uh, same thing with boots. I got life regeneration on my boots. I'm still trying to get the 2% regen. I might even get the 10% uh, movement speed if you have not been hit recently. Because I mean, I charge into a pack and then nothing necessarily really happens, right? Um, what else is there here? So the body armor I bought for 40 chaos. It was I bought it for 20 C and crafted it myself. It was not hard. I just used um, chaos resist essence to hit what I want. And then I got a lucky hybrid roll. So then we have, uh, oh yeah, fractured ring. So one of the key parts for this build to feel smooth is making sure you get flammability on hit. So I bought this synthesized for 1.5 exalt. Um, you could buy it cheaper. You could just use a flammability on hit ring. The reason you want this is for extra damage on your explosion because your explosion is pure fire and it's rolling ignite chance. So that brings us to the next part of you want to have, and I don't know exactly how much I have. 90% chance to ignite. It feels pretty good. Uh, I did take this one node here for 20% ignite to pull me up from 70. I feel like 70 would be fine too, but you know, I just like to go overkill. So um, what else? The only other thing to note is uh, some of the big ones here. So a natural instinct is seven exalt, and that is right here. A natural instinct is going to allow your PC to actually freeze and lag by giving you that massive burst of AOE. If you read on this jewel slot, you can see it gives 36% increased area of effect. So that is like the main reason why we use it. And this is also running right now for just about seven exalt. Then I've got a watcher's eye, completely optional. It's just a pure defensive watcher's eye. It's got physical damage reduction while affected by determination and life recovery on vitality. And I snagged that for five X. There's even one listed right now for four X. Then the Enlightened 3, and the Enlightened 3 is what allows me to run everything. So I'm currently running Purity of Fire, Malevolence, Herald of Ash, Tempest Shield, Determination. You could technically drop Herald of Ash. I don't know how... I'm not sure how important it is, but if you want MTX, which is like the main reason to do this build, you can never drop Herald of Ash. So I would say the other one to swap out would be Malevolence. You could try messing around with gear links to run like a, a divine blessing uh, malevolence setup instead so that would be an option and the last thing i'm going to do since i pretty much went over most of my gear is i'm going to just go over my links and then we're going to call it the video oh i guess breath of flames is my annoyance i could change that probably to more aoe Okay, so I'm currently running Arrogance, Purity of Fire, and Power, and that allows me to get... Let's take a look at our Purity of Fire here. Oh, I can't actually tell you how much it's giving me. Actually, I can use a Ruby Flask. So, my Purity of Fire is giving me 6 right now. It'd give me 7 if I change the Implicit here on my chest. So, Helmet, I've got Enlightened Divergent Malevolence, Divergent Herald of Ash Determination. Divergent gives AoE to Herald of Ash, and Divergent Malevolence gives a little bit of increased damage with ailments. So for the ignite, I could move my fire trap setup uh, up here so it gets plus one for more uh, damage. This is more defense right now. So on my shield, I have frost bomb, molten shell, tempest shield. Frost bomb is only for some really stupid runic mons monsters that can be like super tanky, um, not really needed. You know, frost bomb is pretty much just for the reduced life regen. In my boots, I've got faster attacks, diversion, frost blink, life tap, and shield charge. In my gloves, I've got Combustion, Life Tap, Fire Trap, Trap in Mine. Would do more damage if I swapped out Combustion. I just don't really feel like it right now. Uh, and then in my chest piece, we've got Awakened Ellie Focus, Righteous Fire, Empower, Awakened Burn Damage, Life Tap, and Conk Effect. And the reason why this character does not have a RF helmet crafted is this is a Chieftain. It's not as strong as Inquisitor. Uh, I need this character to be like thick and layered to make sure that it doesn't die in the content I'm running. And again, this is not a bosser. I made this specifically to just kill map bosses, not map bosses, but like clear maps and be very pretty and etc. So that's pretty much what this character is for. Is It's like my fun character, right? Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all later.